Alright, so we've returned in the daytime. Right. Gotta clean up my... There you go. So I think we're gonna go check out the pool first and then... See, these are like little bungalows. See how there's a window open right there? Those are all abandoned. We could also take the fire escapes in. If we trust those. <laughs> uh. Look at the wasps. You see that? That's probably where our little friend from yesterday came from. See, those are all abandoned. Look at this. Froggies? Uh oh. I don't see them. Yeah, so this is a 70 foot pool. Uh, you couldn't see it too much at night, obviously. These are all abandoned. I wonder if they're open. That one's open, definitely. Look at that. Ew. Yeah. It's kind of nasty. Oh, that's the wind blowing that panel over there. Oh, it's locked. Looks like clothes and a shopping cart in there or something. Like a linen basket. It felt like it was locked though, I kept pulling. Look at that swarm. Maybe we can use a fire escape again this time. Trust us.
come up, I think. There's a person. Oh, shit. There's a lady down there. They use most of these rooms for storage. That's all storage. And these were like the suites. This is what you'd pay a lot of money to stay in. Most of these are just connected.
Jesus. everything in here belongs to the state or the city of Sebring well it probably costs a lot of money to do that and there's only so much money coming into the place yeah Nobody's broken that window with all the damage done. Oh. oh wow. I thought they were all draped over yesterday. You can see the model better. It's weird. They don't have the pool. Wait. They don't have the pool on this. That's so strange. They don't have the pool. Fireplace. This is what I wanted to see. This area. Look at this at night. It's like old. Looks like a wow. Look at all those burners for coffee. Old refrigerator. Just the natural decay is just like crazy. Insane. footsteps here is that or somebody's like pounding on something oh wow we got the puzzles we totally miss that Doesn't have a license plate on it. Maybe it was just left there. Wow. Look at that. It's an old 
newspapers. Here you can kind of see the front of the place. It's kind of sad. They just essentially gave up on this place. It's the old Otis elevator. It's downstairs. Oh, it's a gym place. My stomach growled. Why? <laughs> I just ate. Wow. See, it still smells like a freaking hotel though. Hey, look at that. Little baby dumbbell. Oh, that's the kitchen. Oh, wow. Oh, we didn't see this. This was blocked. Wow. It's like the servers. Holy crap. Just left here. Desktops in here. Pots and pans are still down there. Even the sponge is still in the sink. What the fuck? All this time I turned into Squidward. Guest satisfaction card. How did you make your reservation? Hmm. That's more or less suspicious. These sheets of paper we found with like the ghost reports. I don't know how reliable these are. Guest said someone pushed her while she was sleeping. Alarm then kept going off and wasn't on. Guest advised her bed started shaking last oh. night. Also while walking the third floor she felt someone pull on the back of her shirt. Her sister walking next to her heard hard breathing. Kind of like what I'm doing now. She took it to the butt talk for Wait what? Said it was somebody had laid down on the bed. Register flew across room like customers at bar. Register is not spring loaded. Like these seem legit. Yeah. Like just the amount of detail. Housekeeping font. Wait, what? A woman named Elizabeth committed suicide by shooting herself. That was in 213. Housekeeping font body and notified the owner. Margaret shot herself in this room. Two people shot themselves in the same room? Jesus. Uh, there's Charlie Parker, long-term guest at the hotel, who died in the hotel. Don't, didn't, doesn't mention why this person wrote this in the ledger. A woman by ghost standing at the front of the bed. Two young men reported haunting presence on second floor staircase at 12 midnight. Guests could not sleep due to constant noise. This guy's drum being all night. No band was playing and no guests sleeping above or below. Awaken my ghost standing at the foot of her bed. What the fuck? Oh wow, look at that. It's the wedding hall. You're 
You hear that, right? Given the fact that this is on the National Historic Places list, it is uncertain what is going to become of this beautiful building. One thing is for certain, this landmark is a relic to those who pass by and to those who call this place home. If these walls can see and if these floors could talk, I know this building would have plenty of stories to tell this generation and future generations. It is imperative to keep structures like these preserved, whether it be in physical form or digital form, which brings us to the purpose of why we explore these places. The thrill, the rush, getting away from everyday life, the list goes on and on really. However, I wanted to pay tribute to my friend Eric, my sidekick in exploring, who lost his father a year ago. We dedicate these three videos to him and his legacy he left. Time shows no mercy, whether you're human or a historic structure. The fact that time is such a precious thing, and many a times we take it for granted. This is what exploring has kind of taught us. The fact that the world is so vast and beautiful, and sometimes we forget to look in our own backyards and just take in the simple things life has given us. Thank you, Paul. For being one of those for Eric and thank you guys so much again for tuning in and watching these videos.